Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I've been doing this for a, a really long time. D doing this, meaning testing office products, and then particularly printers, you know, the last 20 years. And at times, if you've watched this video, uh, you know, it, 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 I, I sound you know, somewhat bored or morose, but you know, it, after you've been doing it for a while, it's hard to get excited. I try, I try to do my best. But I you know, also try my best to get to give you good information. So, you know, it's really refreshing to get something that actually gets me a little bit excited. A, a product that that is designed so thoughtfully that I really appreciate it, even before I take it out of the box. And and this rather MFC. J5920DW is one of those products. Now we, we did the 6925DW a couple weeks ago and you know it was really impressive and then we get this test unit from from brother and I'm looking at it going well, really it's, it, it's white instead of black and uh, it basically does the same thing, but what it does is pretty remarkable. First of all, it has a, a 50 sheet duplexing document feeder that uh, is single pass scanning. So the original goes through once and it scans both sides simultaneously. It has a 500 sheet paper tray and the paper goes in long ways like this. So it only has to feed eight and a half inches instead of 11 inches, which gives its print speeds of up to 22 pages per minute. And we tested it and it's, it's pretty darn close, if not faster. And it also does a 11 by 17 duplex printing. There's an 80 sheet tray in the back of the unit. We'll take a look at that later. Plus, it's an ink vestment pr printer with super high yield ink cartridges. And uh, when we did the 6925, the cost per page came out to uh, just over five cents for color and um, like 1.2 cents a page for black and white, which is like the lowest on the market. And, uh, and this is part of their Business Smart Plus series. Ink Vespin MFC J 5920DW. Now, this thing is really worth a look unless we have some disastrous trouble with it, which I highly doubt. So, let's open it up and see what's inside. It's actually a, the box isn't that big, it's a little taller than some, but since the paper goes in this way, it doesn't need to be as deep. So, it's doesn't take up a lot of front to back desk space unless you put a, a ledger size 1117 paper in it. Because the paper tray has to stick out to hold the paper. Okay, just like the 6925, it has a printed on the inside cover how to pack it back up. And that's one of the reasons I do these videos. So I can remember how to put them back in a box. And also to see how long it takes. But this is nice, nice detail. And your fax phone wire. The documentation's right on top. And then in this case it's it's taped to a styrofoam thingy. And I'll leave that alone for now. The power cord is attached and laying on the top here. It's uh, there's a diagram that shows you if they want you to open it up, flip it over on its side, 
and pull it out sideways. There's a piece of cardboard here. I don't know what its purpose is. So I'm not going to flip it over. I'm going to take it out from the top. It's not that heavy. Actually, this cardboard thingy is holding the styrofoam together, so it might be easier to do. They say, yeah, get out from the front. packing slip and okay, now we can take off the styrofoam Solid blocks, nice. And there's a piece of cardboard underneath. And the piece of cardboard also has power, power cord permanently attached. This piece of cardboard underneath has ink cartridges on it. Tape on the bag to keep it closed. Yeah, it's really pretty cool looking. It's got a, a ribbed texture on the top, and it's matte black, so it's not going to show up fingerprints as much as those gloss black machines from a couple of years back. Man, it's actually pretty compact. Nice looking. Nice looking machine with a 3.7 inch touch screen. Two trays, man. Oh man, this thing is packed. I mean, you definitely need to get one of these if you uh, if you if you need a, an MFP or an all-in-one, and especially if you need to uh, print on 11 by 17 paper. Even even that, even so, this printer is smaller than a lot of printers that don't do 11 by 17. Let's get it up on the table and do the rest of the un unboxing and setup. Okay, the documentation is in this tape to this piece of styrofoam. Inside the bag, a bunch of stuff. And we have the software CD and the quick setup guide. Product safety guide. Used Genuine Brother Ink. 
by all means. And thank you from brother. Don't forget to register online. Free trials for cloud storage, online meetings, print scan apps. A basic printed user guide, all in English. And it's a basic user guide that is 83 pages long. Nice. And then this this sheet is a maintenance sheet so that if you have problems with misfeeds and um, maybe you have some pieces of paper stuck in there someplace you can feed this through uh, to get rid of the if there's any junk in there paper path okay now the quick setup guide there's a poster and it says you can watch a video, unpack the machine, check the components, load paper, connect the power cord, installing cartridges, the machine settings to go through the control panel to, for that, choose your language, set up your fax, set up your station ID, that's more fax stuff. Then on the back it tells you how to hook up mobile, how to run mobile, wireless, wired, and USB. And then it all explains how to, which is nice, it tells you how to install the brother print, print and scans, I print and scan suite. Um, install the software yada 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 we'll do that later in another video but there's really not much to know here now the first thing I want us to do is uh, install some media but we need to do take out one piece of plot this is this is it For all the, I mean, if you ever watch some of the other videos, there's like 90 pieces of tape, cardboard stuff stuck in everything, plastic cover on everything, it's, and it takes like 10 minutes to get it all off. This one sheet of plastic, and then on the power cord, there's another piece of plastic that needs to come off, and it's it's not even taped on, and somebody tied a little knot here, it's a shoelace knot. And awesome. So let's take this off. We're going to have to plug it in eventually. Okay. Uh, And the first thing it wants us to do is put media in it. And there's a tray on the back here. It opens up to fit 80 sheets of paper, as well as five sheets of 11 by 17. And there's a little guide thing here. There's another one. For envelopes, I believe. I'm not sure. No, it's one is for the 80 sheets, and then you this second one here. Photo. We'll find out later, but this is for five sheets. So this is pretty cool. And then. You have your main tray. Paper goes in long ways. You can, this tray is for all legal 
A3 beautiful. Okay, there's a blue switch here. And once you unlock the tray and open it up, there we go. So this all holds 11 by 17 as well. Amazing. This is your little flipper for A4 ladder. Close it again, you have to push the lock in. And the locks in a couple sizes legal. And then finally back to letter. This is your output tray. And there's a couple little flaps in here for different size photo papers. And 4x6 and photo L. So let's get some medium put it in there. Old standby and remote copy plus. Great price. Color lock. Consistent performance. This is our paper of uh, choice. For all of our testing except for image quality we use a uh, brighter sheet. 100 bright uh, 100 brightness versus 892 which is this and 24 pound versus 20 so and you got to take out the tray I guess you can you're not going to be able to load it without taking it out Easy enough, there's two little dicklets here that's got to go under, and it'll keep you from putting in too much paper. That's it, easy. Bottom tray is almost exactly the same, but it doesn't have the built in output tray. And it's got the same lock to pop it open. Alright, now the next thing it wants us to do is plug it in. Turn it on. And while that's happening. Please wait. Get the ink cartridges out. And we're in the own bag here. Now it's, it's showing us on the adjustable control panel. It's saying no ink cartridge and it's showing us how to do it. Open the cover. Open the cover and pull out this red gazenta and keep it. Hang on to this in case you want to ship it. And install the starter kit. This is the black cartridge. There's the chip. There's a little latch thingy here. So what you do is you just, there's an arrow on this green thing. Push it off to the side until it clicks. This pops off. And then you simply 
slide it in until this gray latch flips up. So that's really, really easy. And uh, let's see, let's do yellow next. I'll just to rip down instead of cross. Chip. Latch dangle. And finally, magenta. Okay, that takes care of the ink. And now it's going to say to re reinstall magenta. Okay, it's preparing the system approximately five minutes. So, let's see if there's anything else. The one thing that's pretty cool about this machine is that your network and USB and fax cables go in here and then they wrap around up underneath. I'm not going to open it up now because it might screw something up. But you route them, it, you open the top and you route them through and, um, and they connect like back in here someplace. And we also have, looks like we have a kind of a, oh, media cards here, media card slot, USB pick bridge, SD and Pro Duo sticks. And the singing. Yeah, the gauge is about a third of the way down. Oh, and the document feeder is hiding under here. This is where you go to get this feeds out. And this is a single pass duplexing document feeder. Which means, uh, and I said I said something before about uh, 11 by 17. Uh, it looks like this document feeder can only scan um, originals as wide as letter. So the 6925DW lets you scan duplex scan 11 by 17 originals. This one you're going to have, I'm not even sure you can do it from the platen. By the way, your originals get loaded in here. Little guides and they come out over here. And it doesn't look like
I'm not so sure about its ability to automatically scan legal. I think it only does up to A4 through the document feeder. And if you want to scan, the platen is also only A4 in size. So I'd have to look at the documentation to see if you can scan legal originals at all. Definitely can't scan ledger originals, how to load documents. It can scan legal side originals through the document feeder, but the platen is only A4. Uh, the gauge is almost all the way done. That's like at 90% right now. So like I said, the this is an ink vestment printer and the cost per page on the 6925 was really low. I assume this is a, I assume this is going to be similarly low, but I'm not sure if it's going to be the exact same price uh, until I go online and find out how much this ink costs and how much it yields. They claim 2400 for the black and 1200 for each color, which is quite a lot. Press OK. It's printing. Paint or black print, blurs or lines may be improved from the maintenance menu. And we'll get to see how far how, many, how far we have to pull this out. One more notch. So we have to pull it out that, that far for your everyday prints. And just notice that the paper comes out this way instead of this way. This makes it faster. And it's just outstanding. I mean, every copier you ever used in your life, paper the paper went goes in this way and comes out this way, not like this. That's for kitty printers and fax machines. All right, so the print quality is fine. That's done. Do you see any dots or lines? No. Print head nozzles are okay, thank you. Now it wants us to do the year. It's already saying 2015. The month is uh, 07. Okay. 22. Okay. The time is 3.10 p.m. 0310. And a little a.m. p.m. button there. PM, okay. Set paper size and type. Uh, tra there's a tr button here that says tray setting. So when you, tray one is letter, tray two is letter. Uh, you can, if you change the, the paper size to anything else, you need to go into this menu and uh, and change it so that you, when you go to print from your computer or your tablet or whatever you're printing from your phone it knows what size paper and where to print it from okay to access more functions swipe the home screen as shown to print from a computer or mobile device using brother eye print and scan application and you need to install a software do you want to print the how to install sheet now no, I don't, but it will print print out a uh, instruction sheet showing you how to uh, set up your mobile applications and it's also on it's also on the on here so you don't have to wait the waste the ink. No. Okay, it's done. You have fax, copy, scan. There's a back button, there's a home button. 
and then we have photo web apps and LGR copy shortcuts you can select various ledger copy shortcuts okay and that is scan a letter document and enlarge from letter to le ledger scan letter documents and stitch them in together on ledger paper scan a letter document and copy it with a note on ledger paper it's pretty cool scan a letter document onto ledger paper with a blank page scan a letter document and center it on a ledger paper on ledger paper so there's your ledger shortcuts so that that's basically it and then we need to install the software this, it, it, this is like as easy as it gets folks and I'm sure the price is right although I think, believe it's a little more expensive than your uh, typical printer because the ink is so cheap uh, they gotta make some money somehow so I gladly pay you know a fifty dollar premium to get five cent per page color versus twelve cents per page color because that adds up real quick. So it's nice to be kind of getting out of, away from that. Give them the razor and then sell them the blades nonsense. Uh, I'd, m I'd much rather play a little bit more for a printer and and have it cost less for me to own and have to buy less ink and fork out less money for ink and that's what this is all about so good job brother you know, I'm liking really liking what I see here and uh, we'll move on to the software installation thanks for watching well I signed off a little too early I usually do the Wi-Fi setup from in the video here so let's let's try that there's a Wi-Fi button up here okay select method setup wizard WPAOSS WLAN assistant and since our router has push button WPSAOSS let's do it that way otherwise it'll let you use a, a wizard or a WLAN assistant Switch network interface to wireless, yes. Start WPS or AOSS. There's a button on my router up here. I just got to push it. And then OK. Setting up wireless LAN. All right, it's connected. OK. That's going to print a confirmation page that it's connected prints quiet and it doesn't it's not shaking the table or anything pretty solid okay let's give a name well, on like a w w lan report it's telling me connection okay giving me the details Okay, so it's still telling me, wait, you can see the control panel a little better now because it's zoomed in. In fact, copy, scan, your LAN button up here, uh, ink level button, and a setup button. You can do create shortcuts, which could be destinations, it could be copy settings, scan settings, all kinds of stuff. And there's six here, shortcuts one, shortcuts two, shortcuts three. So there's there's eighteen shortcuts you can create. And they have a home and a back button. And then copy, scan, and then over here you can print photos from the ports over here and memory cords and then web that uh, needs to be set up
and then apps that also needs to be set up but you can download and install like Dropbox and Google Drive and all kinds of stuff so you can scan and print stuff to the to the cloud so and then finally the the ledger copy shortcuts that we, I showed you before and don't show again and there's a whole bunch of them here as well and we talked about them a few minutes ago so that's it uh, easy to set up the wireless and once again thanks for watching